Dr. Rita Louise, and this is a psychic reading summary for the week of May 3rd, 2018. We are getting to the point where nothing surprises us anymore. The cards this week also indicate that we're beginning to let go of old thought forms. It offers us a chance to look behind the curtain and see who or what is really running the show. And here's this week's full planetary vibration reading. Each week's weekly planetary vibration reading is brought to you by soulhealer.com where you can schedule a private consultation from me, Dr. Rita. Before we get into the meat of the reading this week, I want to validate all of you for loving yourselves and giving to yourselves. There may be some who do not recognize how they've been loving themselves this past week, but here's how. Even if things were going rough, you are able to create a boundary and say, this is what I want. This simple act of holding your space and honoring, honoring yourself is loving. The world seems to, calm, to be calming down as we move into this next week. I think we're getting to the point where nothing surprises us anymore. If, for example, 10 years ago, we heard that America's favorite dad, Bill Cosby, was a rapist, we'd be shocked by the revelation. We would feel betrayed and our faith in humanity tested. Today, when we hear headlines such as this, many of us only shake our heads and wonder once again, what's the world coming to? This week, we're digging deeper. We're picking and choosing what is working for us, separating the wheat from the chaff. We're exploring the world from an internalized perspective choosing to trust our gut instead of just going along with the masses. There is still a bit of trepidation in this approach, but we feel congruent with ourselves and our decisions. This point becomes especially clear if we experience any discord from the people around us. Our newfound sense of wholeness allows us to hold our ground and not waver. Interestingly, even if confronted, we're able to maintain our space. Our emotions, unlike before, do not become entangled in the situation. We have come to recognize that the opinions of others are just that, their opinions. This too is a sign of loving ourselves. We're giving ourselves permission to have a thought, an opinion, a need, a feeling, or desire that may be different from those around us we're starting to learn that it's okay to follow our own drummer. The cards this week also indicate that we're beginning to let go of old thought forms. These internalized programs of, are of how we see the world. They were imposed upon us by our family of origin, by society, and by social and cultural groups. They're filters that interfere with us seeing the true nature of reality. For many, these blinders have manipulated what we've thought and how we felt our whole lives. This dynamic, if given enough time, has the possibility of changing the world profoundly. It offers us a chance to look behind the curtain and see who or what is really running the show. We're only beginning the stages of this shift, so it will be interesting to watch as the days and weeks roll by how our growing sense of self and clarity manifests in our lives and in the bigger picture in the world around us. Well, that's it for this week's Planetary Reading. Please share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Also, like me, Dr. Rita Louise, on Facebook, or schedule a private consultation by visiting soulhealer.com. So until next time, I'm Dr. Rita Louise.